Hello and thank you so much for joining us for this edition of Open Heavens Reflections based on daily devotional written by Pastor E. A. Adeboe, the General Overseer of the Redeemed Christian Church of God. It's a joy to be with you today. My name is Fueke Christian Atolani and I'm a pastor with Christ Love Assembly, a parish of the Redeemed Christian Church of God in Oxford. Our topic for today is Power to Make Heaven. And our Bible passage is taken from the book of Revelations, chapter 3, from 20 to 22. Behold, I stand at the door and knock. If anyone hears my voice and opens the door, I will come into him and dine with him and he with me. To him who overcomes, I will grant to sit with me on my throne. As I also overcame and sat down with my father in his throne, he who has an ear, let him hear what the Spirit says to the churches. Our memory verse, Revelations, the same, chapter 3, verse 21. To him who overcomes, I will grant to sit with me on my throne, as I also overcame and sat down with my father on his throne. Our reflections. Making it to heaven, the dwelling place of the Most High God, should be the ultimate heartfelt desire of every true child of God. If you have ever had an opportunity to be in God's presence, you will understand that there is no better place to be in all creation than in the presence of a living God. Nothing can ever compare, absolutely nothing compares. The psalmist made this clear for us in Psalm 16 verse 11. Thou will show me the path of life, in thy presence is fullness of joy. At thy right hand, there are pleasures forevermore. The best path to take in life is the one that ultimately leads us into God's presence. It is only when we get into his presence that we can fully have true joy. True joy can only be found in the presence of God. However, before we eventually make it to heaven, there are still some battles we need to fight here on earth. It is only after we have overcome these battles that we are then ready to appear before His holy presence. We need power to be able to overcome all the obstacles that the enemy of our souls would place before us to hinder us from getting to heaven at last. Every day, the enemy attacks attacks us with all kinds of evil thoughts and imaginations that are referred in the scriptures as fairy darts. He wants our hearts to be filled with all negative thoughts so that Jesus will not have a place there. The truth is that majority of the battles for our destiny takes place in the realm of our hearts or mind, and that is why it is always attacked. So if the devil wins there, he has won everywhere else. Therefore, our first major task is to allow Jesus Christ to come into our hearts and reign on in that there. Again, we need to let Jesus reign in our hearts because he is the one that has overcome the enemy and the power to overcome the enemy dwells within. He possesses the power to overcome. So if you also want to overcome the enemy, Jesus has to be reigning in your heart. There is no other way. So when it begins to reign in your heart and life, it will give you the power to overcome Satan, sin, the flesh, and the world. When you have this overcoming power operating in your life, then you have the empowerment that will enable you to make heaven. He has already promised to him that overcomes, will I grant to sit with me in my throne, even as I also overcame and am set down with my father in his throne. My prayer is that we would all overcome and we would make heaven by the grace of God. Our prayer point, Father, I am tired of being a victim of sin. Please empower me with the strength in my inner man to manifest the reality of the truth that I am dead to sin in Jesus' mighty name. My prayer is that in the name of Jesus, we would live a life that is blameless, dead to sin, a life of an overcomer, and by his grace, will make heaven in Jesus' name. The Lord bless you and keep you, and may his face continue to shine upon you as you live before him in unholiness and righteousness. 
Bye for now.